Hello, this is Diane Dalton. This short video is going to show you how to find and download the Sys Internals tool suite. Uh, just a quick overview in PowerPoint and then I'm going to step through it. Um, you're going to go find the website. It's at sysinternals.com. Um, we're going to click and look at Sys Internals suite, but this page has home page has a lot of information about the tools. Um, so at this point, when you get to the Sys Internal Suite, we're going to click on Download the Sys Internal Suite. Um, then we're going to step through a few things. Um, if you run this without taking a few precautions, you're going to get a warning every time you try to run one of these tools. That's because when you download something from the internet, it gets marked as coming from that security zone, as in the internet zone, and so you'll get this warning. While files from the internet can be useful, this file type can be potentially harmful to your computer. Only run software from publishers you trust, and you're going to trust this. So I'll show you how to take care of that step. And what you're going to do is, once you have downloaded those internals, and it is a zip file, you're going to right click and go to Properties. And what you're going to do is click this button, which in the one I captured had already been clicked. It will unblock that security zone warning. Another thing you're going to have to do is accept the license agreement when you click on these. This is your typical end user license agreement. Then the next step after you have downloaded the zip file, and you can save that initially to any place you want, but I want you to create a new folder, and I'm suggesting this doesn't have to be, but this is a good place to put it, is that on your C drive, and create a new folder called Sys Internals. And what you need to do so that you can run all of these tools from any folder where you are is to put that file or that folder name into the path. Now what's the path? I think we talked about that already. That's the list of folders where Windows will search for an executable program that you're trying to execute. So if it can't find it in one of the existing folders in the path, it will give you an error says it's not recognizable. So we need to add this list of programs, which are all in a new folder called sysinternals, to the path. So this is the exact command name, and you have to do this at the command prompt. At this point, when you have created the new folder called sysinternals, you've added it to the path, now we're going to extract the files from the zip and put them into that folder. Then they'll be ready to use. Now we'll go to the live demo. All right, so I'm in the Internet Explorer, and I'm typed in sysinternals into the search box, go to a search, and you'll find several, and you can start with the top one, sysinternals.com. That shows the home page for the sysinternals suite. I'm going to scroll down until I see the sysinternals suite. And what this is is the group of all of the sysinternal utilities, and it's bundled together into one zip file that you can download as a suite. Now, if you want to download individual tools, you can find each one of them separately here. But we're going to go ahead and download the entire suite. So we'll down, click on this, get your message. We're going to save that. And you can save this anywhere you'd like. I've already created a folder in my summer 2012 class called Sys Internals, and I'm going to save it there. And by chance, I did already save this, so we don't have to watch the time while I'm saving this. So I'm just going to actually cancel, but you'll need to save that. All right, next, I'm going to open up that folder where I've saved that in the summer 2012, the Sys Internals folder. And here's my zip file containing all of the utilities. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to go to Properties and I need to unblock. Remember, this is to prevent all of those security warnings happening each time I open up one of the programs. So that's done. I can click Apply, OK. All right, now the next thing I want to do is to create a new folder. So I'm going to open up Windows Explorer again, and this time I have the local disk C, and I'm going to just create a new folder. I'm going to call it Sys on internals. Enter. So now that exists. Um, if you recall, we need to put that into the path. Um, so let me move the command prompt here. You can look at the path by just typing the name path. 
to see how to use path or to see what the current path is, you can type, and this shows the path, this is the entire list, to show how to change it. I'll look at the help again. So what I'm going to do is type path, C colon, sys, oops, internals, and then I put the colon, semicolon, and I want to keep the entire rest of the path that already existed, and that's why I put at the end what's the current path surrounded by the percent signs. All right, so now our path includes our new folder with the sys internals. All right, now I need to go back to my original folder where I have my zip file with all of these. I'm going to right click, I'm going to extract all of them, and I'm going to put them into that new folder on my C drive. So I'll navigate here to the sys internals. Okay, that's where I want to store them. So I've got C colon backslash sys internals and I say extract. And there's the list of programs.